Yeah, hi there. And uh, these comments are for Justina again, and I'm listening to it looks like your independent speaking practice test number two. This one is uh, choose an event that has meaning for you. Explain how it has changed you. And as you know, I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass a TOEFL IBT. So let's hear what you have to say. In my view, the most meaningful event for me is that I graduated from high school. Okay, so I would say event, event, stress on that second syllable. High school. It is for a few reasons. The first one... I wouldn't say that. It, it is for a few reasons. That's not very original. You want to demonstrate more complex type grammar and create a more focused topic statement, I think, in the beginning of your speaking task. So go to speaking lesson number two. That will give you some general tips on how you can organize your ideas better than what you are right now. It was the excitement. For example, when I was learning for the exams and I was so stressful that I wouldn't get... When I was learning for the exams, I don't think I would say it that way. I would say when I was studying for the exams is probably the better word choice there. A good grades, but I accomplished it very well and I graduated from high school. So if I, I accomplished it very well and I graduated from high school, stressful that I wouldn't get a good grades. But you don't want to say a good grades. You can say I wanted to get good grades, but I wanted to get a good grade maybe in the class. I accomplished it very well and I graduated from high school. So now in order to really focus around what you're trying to say, it'd be a good idea if you could frame your response around a specific class. Maybe you were taking a chemistry maybe a language class, you know, there's history or something. Maybe there was some class you're taking that was challenging, but you were able to overcome the difficulties and get a high score on the class, which allowed you to graduate, and it taught you that you can overcome difficult situations, so you need some detail in there. So, I felt so excited and I was done with the exams. The second one is that I felt really upset. The second one, what? So you want to say another, you might want to say, uh, graduating from high school was also important for me because, you could say, and that's going to connect what you're saying back to the purpose of the speaking task better. For example, at first, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But when I graduated, I knew I wanted to take a better education, move from a house, and live by myself. Well, anyhow, just be organized and do all by myself. That is why the graduation is the most meaning even for me. Okay, so what, what you want to do is you need a more sharply focused topic statement in the beginning of the response, then it's easier for you to connect the different parts of the speech back to the beginning. So in this one, you had some word choice issues, some language use issues with your response. Also, I think you can better organize your ideas. So in both speaking practice tests that I've seen so far, you still need to work on your organization. So again, speaking lesson number two and also speaking lesson number seven, both of those lessons will give you some good tips on how you can better organize uh, your ideas. Uh, your score here, let's take a look at the rubrics. I'm going to put you to about 2.33 out of 4 or 18 points out of 30 on this particular practice test.